Yeah, just coming up to the Fundy Trail Parkway uh, soon, maybe like five minutes or so. It says it's closed. So hopefully uh, they've plowed the roads and there's no barriers. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Beep, boop, beep, boop. I'm gonna show you what I see right now and it doesn't look good. All right, looks like a roadblock. And we see a uh, closed for the season. Closed for the season. Could I get around it, do you think? Looks like somebody's tried. Uh, they went about two feet and then they said no. Yeah, so, yeah. Cause I tried to hit it from the other side. This is the west side. I tried it from the east side and the gates were up there too. So, that's about it. So, we won't see the Walton Glen uh, gorge and, and waterfall. It would have been pretty good. Uh, you know, if I had more time, I could just snowshoe in, camp out, camp, and all of that stuff, but that doesn't look like it's in the pictures for this trip, anyways. I was reading up, and actually, there's guys who ice climb on the waterfall. Now that must be amazing. Okay. We will, uh, I'll get back to you with the plan, the second second plan. I should have had a plan B. Actually, I had two, two things planned today, uh, which was the caves and, and then the uh, gorge. Um, so anyways, I'll work on a third, third thing because it's still fairly early as a it's like 11 o'clock it's 11 o'clock okay we'll figure it out all right so you know what I decided I can't get in there with the car but I can get to the first two uh, lookout points, which are Fox Rock and Flower Pot Rock. Uh, it's about uh, from here where the snow's blocked off. It's about if I if I follow the road uh, with snowshoes or or, or hiking, um, walking, uh, it's about 1.9 kilometers. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go there, check out those two things and uh, yeah so much so we always have to have a plan C plan C and, and uh, well maybe I'll have to have a plan D too because who knows right let's do it and depending on the time there's a few other lookouts that are not much farther maybe I'll check those out but uh, we'll see how long it takes to get there uh, and, and, and to you know spend some time around there and then uh, yeah I just don't want to leave it until I don't want to be there all afternoon and get stuck in the dark uh, speaking of getting stuck in the dark always have these just in case you all bright light bright light all right bam bam I'll put that in the bag uh, with uh, snowshoes water snacks all that good stuff Yeah, baby. Let's go. All right. Hitting the trail. I don't need that right now. Oh, wait. Did I lock the door? Oh. You know, I just saw some deer up the road. You know, they might uh, be looking for peanut butter or something. So we'll lock that up. Let's go. Yeah. There's a the car. The sign says there's a kiosk. There's the sign that says it's closed. And there's a big pile of snow and a closed gate. Oh, little icy. So we'll see how the snow is. It doesn't look too bad here. Oh, and it's actually, it's very hard packed on the top. 
so I'm not even sinking at all. So far, so good. If it keeps up like that, it'll be a easy hike. So yeah, just about uh, just under two kilometers to get to the first lookout. Actually, maybe it's the second lookout. Anyways, there's a few, there's a, quite a few lookouts along this road. So if you come in the summer, spring, fall, uh, lots of places to see along the way. Uh, the, the, the place I originally wanted to go, the Walton Glen Gorge, um, it's about 30 kilometers from here. So yeah, uh, you know, I'd have to do it. I'd have to camp it overnight unless maybe there's some other way to get in here. But I, like I said, I went both ways, east and west on this uh, Fundy uh, Trail Parkway and it's closed at both ends. So, and if I came from the other side, it would be at least like uh, a lot more than 30 kilometers. Um, so, this is what we're doing. I have added to the itinerary. There's a few other places along the way. So if I go 3.9 kilometers along this road, something like that, I can, I can catch an, a, a, another uh, three lookout points, uh, ones including a waterfall. So uh, when we get there, we'll take a look at that. All right. The entrance gate. So I just passed the entrance gate and we'll continue along. Okay, so where are we? Let's take a look. Okay, we're over here. Fox Rock. Yeah, we're gonna try and do a few things here. Maybe get up to here. That's about 3.9 kilometers from where I started. Somewhere over there or something. Um, yeah, we'll look at the time. Maybe we can go farther. Maybe we'll go uh, over here or here, who knows. But uh, we'll take a look. Maybe I'll get a shot of that. How about that? Boom. Let's take a look. What can we see from here, my dear? Izzy and Sophie. All right. All along the coast look at that there's a trail that goes through Fundy National Park it goes along the coast it's about uh, I believe it's about 35 to 40 kilometers long and uh, yeah it'll take you a few days you got to watch the tides so that you don't uh, get stuck along the trail it could be pretty treacherous. Uh, some of the trail a little steep. Um, so yeah, it wouldn't be like your your leisurely stroll through the park, but uh, it looks like it would be a lot of fun. So winter is uh, probably not the time to do it, but who knows? If you got the right gear, maybe you could do it. Um, but yeah, definitely in the summer would be cool. Uh, camp out along the way um, But hey Who knows winter adventure so yeah. This is the Flower pot rock scenic footpath uh, And it actually goes What does it go? It feeds back that way, I guess, towards the way I came. Hmm. I wonder if I should uh, go to this one on the way back then. I'll continue, continue on and then come to this one on the way back. Hmm. Let's see, what does it look like? Oh yeah, and this part is 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 part of the Stonehammer Geopark. It looks like Fundy Trail. Yeah, 
That's pretty sweet. Fundy National Park. Yeah, this is up there with the uh, Cabot Trail. It's pretty nice. Those beaches down there must be really nice. But yeah, now that it's getting a little warmer, uh, some of this uh, really uh, packed snow is, is starting to sink. So, uh, you know, every 20 or so steps you, you go in, whoosh, catches you by surprise. But good thing is it's not too deep. Uh, whoa, like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Ugh. So yeah, in this area, there's lots of uh, birch trees, fir trees. It looks like over here we got some, what is this? Some staghorn uh, uh, sumac. There's a little bird up there. Oh, a robin. Staghorn Sumac. So that's the whole trail. If you you could do it 10k there and 10k back, um, it's doable. But uh, we just have to get here a lot earlier um, because the trail is a very, I'd say it's a pretty easy trail. Uh, you know, with the snow, you're sinking in every now and then, but still, it's pretty flat overall. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, too bad my towel's still wet. Otherwise, I'd go down to the beach. All right, let's continue on. Well, I guess I'm not using this picnic bench. They don't disinfect them after every use. Actually, yeah, so right now, this part of the trail is called the Flower Pot Scenic Trail. And then it connects over there. That's where Fuller Falls is. That's where I'm gonna go. So there's a another little uh, Japanese plaque lookout or something like that along the way. Uh, that's where these two trails connect. Um, so we'll go see what that's about. And uh, it's downhill. We're just coming up to the Fuller Falls. Um, looks like someone came through with snowshoes, maybe. Huh. I don't know. That could have been in the last few days. But as you can see, there's, yeah, there's about a foot and a half of snow on this bridge. This is the brook. And then I guess up, up at the top is whoa, where the waterfall is. Okay, so down this way is the uh, Melvin Beach. It's the trail that takes you down to Melvin Beach. So that's that nice uh, beach along the, where the... Uh, the uh, escarpment is is touching the beach. We saw that view from up at the Japanese plaque there. And then over this way is uh, Fuller Falls. Fuller Falls is up here. It's about another kilometer to get there. Um, huh. I think I'm gonna go to Fuller Falls and check it out. And then if time permits, I'm gonna come down here and we can check out the uh, Melvin Beach. Um, yeah, sounds like a plan. Yeah, this, this is a straight uphill. Um, you gotta take baby steps here on this stuff because you'll sink in otherwise. Someone had uh, snowshoes and, uh, well, actually I have some on my back, but uh, we'll see. Maybe going back down, I might use them. So now it looks like uh, nobody's come up here in a while. Uh, well, Someone has been here maybe a while ago, but yeah, the other, there's no other prints. These are just animal prints. Um, so yeah. On the way to Fuller Falls. Right here. You got some little baby uh, fir trees with the big mama and papa trees. The 
family of furs. The fur family. Just coming over the uh, over the uh, Fuller Brook Bridge. Uh, there's a bridge here, and there's the brook. And this is coming around the bend, and the falls are just down there. So probably another mm, something like 400 meters or something like that Whoa. on the trail to get to the lookout point. Let's take a look. Whoa. The snow is about a foot and a half deep on the bridge. Oh yeah. There's the brook. Oh yeah. All right, come along with me. Let's go. All right, so we're here. Full of falls. It's a lookout point. I don't know if it's going to be the best view of the falls. I might have to get down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. Definitely got to hit it from the other angle. Down there. That must be a uh, Melvin Beef, maybe? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll walk a little bit more this way. Okay, I see what it is. This one here is the upper observation deck. And there's the falls from the top side. So we're going to go catch it from the bottom side. All right. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's not the greatest view up here. But, uh, what about the view of me, eh? It looks like they have some kind of cable stairs. Oh, yeah, I see them. There they go, and they go down to the bottom. Oh, <laughs> should have brought my toboggan. Woo! There's the falls. Yeah. Let's go. I need an extra hand. I'll hold on to the rail in here. Huh. What is that? Somebody's been eating some seeds or something? Or, or maybe you could tell me what that is. I don't know. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. sliding down. Oh. oh. Good thing this cable's here. So yeah, that was fun. Slid down the hill. Um, and actually it's, pre it's, it's pretty icy. So I think that's where I'm gonna test my brand new uh, crampons uh, going back up. That'll give me some extra grip uh, on the parts that are uh, slippery and uh, wet. Oh yeah, the waterfall. In the winter time, for the falls. Oh yeah, and it goes right down to the beach, into the Bay of Fundy. Tide's out still. I think the tide's gonna be out till about six o'clock. So I can go, when I go back up and around, I can go down to that beach and uh, get a nice view down there. Oh, shit about my swimsuit.
All right, snack time, snack time down by the falls. So yeah, you can see I got my nuts, I got my water, snowshoes, my bag, and there's the new crampons. We'll see how those do. I just picked those up in, uh, where did I pick those up? In Moncton, Moncton. Uh, yeah, they look all right, they're all right. I don't know uh, anything about crampons other than they help you get up icy uh, pathways and stuff. All right. Why don't you guys go grab a snack too? We can uh, have a snack together. Crampons are on. It's pretty useless in this stuff, but definitely feels grippier. Um, so yeah, we'll give that a go going up the hill. Oh yeah. So, I have my nuts already. Just gonna have some water. And then we'll make our way around, all the way around there, and come back down to Melvin Beach. Yeah, so I can already see that these are a welcome addition to my kit. Uh, yeah, I got nice grip, just holding on to the wire here, but I, I can even let it go. I'm not going anywhere. And I actually slid down this portion and a portion behind me and then a portion up there above the stairs so it's pretty sweet all right full of falls not quite the walton glen gorge but uh it's all right it's All right, let's go to the beach. One last view of the falls before we go. Yeah. All right, this is the spot where I, I went up to the falls and now this is the spot to go to Melvin Beach. So, Nobody's been down here in a while. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, this water here doesn't look too deep. I might actually be able to uh, hop, skip and jump over there. Looks like someone might have done that, or an animal or something did it. I'm gonna try it, I think. Yeah, so it's, well, it's pretty deep over here. I'd say it's at least whatever, six inches there. But I'm gonna see how this is here. I got my cleats on or my, my crampons. So the ice is uh, not slippery. And I could probably just jump over there. That's easy, that's easy enough. Let's do it. Easy peasy. All right, let's keep going. Woo! Look, there's some more caves over there. So this is at Melvin Beach, and we have some other caves. These would be under water as well when the tide is in. Well, they would, they would be partly underwater, it looks like. Uh, huh, maybe they're completely under. Let's see. No, I think the top part would probably be exposed. But yeah, let's go check it out. Hopefully nothing, uh, none of the ceilings cave in on me. Oh yeah. Let's go up in here. Some 
bicycles. Yeah. How's that? How's that? Let's see what we got over here. Definitely hear the tide coming in. You don't want to fall asleep on this piece, that's for sure. Let's take a look around the other side. Oh, spectacular. Hey, okay. how about that? So for all you people that have been to uh, Fundy National Park and over here by uh, Fuller Falls or Melvin Beach, well, Fundy National Park, what's your favorite uh, trail on the, in the park? Also get a nice view of the falls over here. So let's go check it out. Goes right out to the bay. Actually, it doesn't. It just comes over here, but it's slowly. Actually, on the beach, you can see in the rocks over here. The water is slowly permeating through the rocks and out into the bay. Yeah. Whew. So I have a little idea here. I could easily make that jump. That's nothing, very nothing. But since I got some time to kill, I'm gonna make a bridge. I'm gonna take this piece here and a couple other pieces and make a bridge. I better get on it. It's already collapsed. The bridge is already collapsed because the water is just uh, melting the bridge away. So I better get on it and get over. As I was walking on it, it collapsed even more, and uh, but I didn't get wet. It would have been disastrous if I had have gotten wet. Disastrous, I tell you. Anyways, let's go. Which way are we gonna go? All right, so that's where we were, down there. Um, I'm taking off a layer because it's warming up. I think it's probably about two degrees now. Got the gloves off. So on the way back, we'll see, because this thing, this flower pot trail looped. It might actually go down to the beach. I don't know. I'm going to take a look. Ooh, what does this say? There we go. Flower pot rock. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so, yeah, actually, I'll, yeah, okay, I'll go back to the start, and then I'll just walk down the hill. Um, yeah. So yeah, at first, I didn't even realize, but I'm, uh, I'm on the second, the, the loop back of the flower pot uh, trail. I thought I was on the same one. But then I was like, uh, I saw this little stream up there and I'm like, I didn't pass that. Anyways, that's good. So, uh, different change of scenery. Got the water down here. Woo, uphill over here. The bear, whoa! No, it's just joking. <laughs>
Yeah. Looks like this tree just fell down. Pretty fresh. Um, not too long ago. Let's go around it. Someone's gone around it, so it must have been a... Eh. What, maybe the big store? There was, a, there was some wind when I was in Halifax, 90 kilometer an hour wind, so maybe at the same time around that, so a few days ago. So there's Flower Pot Island. So, just left the uh, Flower Pot Island and now I'm heading back. This is the parkway. Over there was the trail that I walked in on. So that would have been the pathway. This is the parkway. This is where you should see car tracks, but all I see is deer tracks and maybe moose tracks. the sun all right looks like we're back at the entrance so not much further to get back up to the road uh, where, where they stop plowing where the gate is look at that if you need to make a call, there you go. That's an odd sight out here. But hey, actually I think over here, the signal might not be that good. So that would explain it. Yep. No, no wires. So that's why it's there. So I'm gonna make a call, oh, no quarters. And I don't have my cards with me. Let's see. Dial tone. Got a dial tone. You guys remember the old trick? How to uh, get the free phone calls? Maybe we'll have to try that out. All right. Well, I most definitely will. So... As you can see, we're back to the car. It's just behind this pile of snow. That's the uh, the pile of snow left by the snow plow, and that's as far as they went. So that was my final uh, spot in the car, and then I hiked the rest of the way in and uh, had a beautiful day. I think I got here, I don't know, what was it, 10.45? I can't remember now. Uh, now it's about 3.40, 3.42 or something like that. And, uh, yeah, definitely hungry now.